Okay, so as promised, I did want to show you guys how to uh, put the hair on these dolls as opposed to the hat so that you have that other option. This is Wooly, and uh, he has a separate pattern because his clothes are a bit different. And you'll find the pattern either somewhere here popped up on the screen or um, in the description. So take a look at the description, and you should find a link uh, for the pattern for Wooly. So let me show you how we create this as opposed to the little hat. Now, as um, we had said before, you have to knit the face uh, all one color. So this is 21 rows of that flesh tone. And then uh, best thing to do is to mark uh, where you want your hairline for your doll. You don't have to do this and I don't always do it but it's a good idea and just keep in mind that wherever you're putting this you want to put it behind uh, that actual hairline because you don't want it to show up. So to put the hair on the doll you're gonna use the same technique you use to put fringes on a um, on a scarf which is you're basically going to make a knot out of your string and this is a good time to use all your leftover yarn that you didn't know what to do with it. So save it because this is where you're going to use it. You're going to use it to put hair on your dolls. And uh, you need to cut your yarn into strips like this. I do this just by putting the yarn uh, by three fingers and then I just fold it. So whatever length you want, let's say you want your yarn to come all the way to here then you, you need twice that because you have to fold it and create a loop. This is how you're going to feed the yarn through the doll so you can handle it and make a knot. Okay, so once you've decided where you want your yarn and you've clipped it into little pieces like this, you're just going to go ahead and take your crochet hook, feed it through, and you need some place where your yarn's going to create that knot. So you're going to get like a loop here and then the loop that you created with that piece you're gonna put it on the head of your crochet hook turn that crochet hook around so you can feed it through and then come back and get those loose strands you wrap them around your crochet hook and feed them through and that creates a knot now you're doing just about what you the same thing you did to make the little ears as well and when you do that, your yarn is facing down. You've done your knot and now you have all that hair facing down. But that's not always what you want your hair to do, especially with Wooly. Um, with Wooly, we want hair that sticks up as well as hair that lays down. And in that case, you're going to need to turn your doll upside down. So that you're doing exactly what you did before, but when the, when you finish, that hair is going to be sticking upward. So I'm going to take it, same thing, with my crochet hook. I'm going to find out where I want to put it. Feed it through. Wrap the yarn. Feed that yarn through the loop. And tighten it up. Okay? Okay. And as you can see, that yarn is now sticking up. All right, if you want something a little different, like I wanted with this doll, which is I wanted to give this little guy more of an afro look, then just unravel these strands. And when you unravel them, they become this curly, afro-looking uh, type of yarn.